On today's video, I'm going to be doing some energy clearing around letting go of the past to create the future. So I don't know what's going to come through. I'm just going to channel whatever wants to flow. I already feel the energy really building on this. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And I love to do all things that assist you in loving your life, right? And really like clearing out the patterns and programs and beliefs and all that past experience that keeps coming up and is holding you back. So it's coming up because it needs to be cleared, right? So that's what I do. We clear it and we set up the energy for your future. So that's the message that came through today for doing some healing around that. So we're just going to do whatever wants to channel through because there's something that wants to come. I don't know what it is yet. We'll find out and uh, let's just see where it takes us. So for right now, I just invite you to really just start relaxing your body, right? Really letting yourself let go of everything that's going on out there for just for the next probably 15 minutes. Um, just letting everything else go. So like any thoughts that come in and are distracting from the healing that's coming through, I want you to imagine you can just stick in a little bubble, blow it away send it away blow it away however you want to do it erase it with a big eraser you know just tell it you'll see it later right you'll come back to that thought later for right now you're just working on your own energy feel and clearing away things that are not serving you it's always clearing what does not serve you there are some things that are for your highest good that we experience right so like that stuff doesn't get cleared it's just the stuff that doesn't serve you that's just you know, mucking up your energy field. So as we let go of those, we're gonna call them heavier or denser energies. Uh, we can just bring in this beautiful light and love of the universe to fill in all those places where we release the denser energy and you'll find that you actually feel lighter. Of course, right? We're bringing in light and it assists you to feel lighter. And the lighter you are, the higher your vibration is, and the easier it is to manifest all the things that you want in your life, to actualize them and have them manifest in ways that are pleasant, that are joyful. Like we no longer need to manifest through struggle. Like that's the old paradigm, right? We're moving out of that. We're, we're switching tracks completely to where we're going to be. Acknowledging and experiencing the abundance that is within this universe, right? That's where we're going. And so let's see what clearings wanna come through today. So just take a nice deep breath in and letting it out. And see if you can just breathe into your belly, bypassing the chest, just filling your belly and then Letting it out. And one more deep cleansing, healing breath in. And then hold it for six seconds. And then gently and easily letting it out. And you can already feel the energy shifting. So if you're not sure what that is, let's just do a clearing. Let's let's uncreate and destroy all those patterns and programs that um, compel you and make you think and think that you're not able to feel and sense energy. Let's just lift that all up, send it to the light, right? We're gonna uncreate and destroy all of it, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds, right? Just letting it go. That was the access consciousness clearing and I'll probably do more of that. I'll put a link down below so you can find out what that clearing is all about. Okay, so let's sit with that energy of just releasing. Okay, so let's release all the energetic, mental, emotional ties that exist to all of the times when you cut yourself off from sensing and feeling energy. Ah, yeah, okay. So let's just release all of that, right? And so it is, we're just releasing it, we're sending it to the light. And let's download what it feels like to 
to know that it is safe for you to allow your true nature and abilities to sense energy, to know what energies are supportive for you and which are not. And let's clear any vows, oaths, decisions you may have ever made that forbid you and prevent you from clearing out the energies that do not serve you. Now that could include people, right? People, places, jobs, things that don't no longer serve you. Anything that prevents you from clearing those energies out, we just want to let them go, release it, uncreate and destroy it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pock, all night, shorts, boys and beyond. Yeah. So having released all those energetic, mental, emotional ties to all experience where you didn't allow yourself to feel and sense energy, to know, to navigate energy with ease, now that those are all cleared, let's just bring in, download for you, what it feels like to have your, your, your truth, the energy that you are, to allow that ability for you to sense energies and and it's just like flowing with the universe right so anything that doesn't allow you that forbids you prevents you from flowing with the universe with the energies of the universe to be in that flow let's uncreate and destroy all of that right and wrong good and bad pot and pot all night shorts boys and beyond right lifting all the vows oaths decisions that you've made that dictated to you that it was not safe to be that energy and flow with that energy, right? You know, we're just letting go of all of that, just let it go. And so feel this energy start to flow. So let's download for you what it feels like, like into every single cell of your body. If it's something that you're not used to, we're just asking creator, spirit, source to download into every single cell of your body what it feels like to be in the flow removing anything that doesn't allow you to acknowledge even when you are in the flow to really just be the energy flow with the energy so for right now let's just call in so much light just calling this light into your field and as you draw in more light and you can imagine you're drawing it in through your head through your hands through your feet Drawing it in from everywhere around you, above you, below you. Just pulling in this light and this energy of the universe because, you know, everything is light. Everything is energy. So filling up so much with this energy that you feel so expansive, like you, like you feel like you're getting bigger. You probably also start to sort of no longer know where your body begins and ends right so at this moment we're just building so much energy and just allow yourself to go with it and if you're not even sure what that feels like just imagine that you're that this light that you're pulling in is just expanding out and is creating this this Let's call it a force field, <laughs> a light field, um, a big bubble, a cocoon, however you want to look at it. Imagine that you're in this, you're just this little speck in this ever expanding bubble of energy, of light. Just imagine, see yourself just glowing, glowing so much that you can't even see yourself within the bubble anymore. You just become this bubble of light. And now this bubble doesn't have any walls or barriers around it. It just keeps spreading. It's just this light. It's almost like this huge glow that can move through the universe, right? Like a, you know, like one of those, a comet, just moving through the universe, being that light to where now you realize you are this energy and it's really your body that's within your energy, not 
your energy within your body. Only a little portion of that is actually in the body. And so this extension of your energy is what allows you to flow with the universe, to connect with your, your guides, angels, all that beautiful high vibrational energy that's out there, light beings, high vibrational light beings, allowing your connection because when you are this light, you are connected to all of that. Yeah, so we want to do a clearing right now to just release your attachments to the past, right? So just releasing all of those old energies that have created any physical addiction within your body. Let's uncreate and destroy all of that. Everything that is, everything that's connected to that, right? Vows, oaths, decisions, energetic, mental, emotional ties, traumas, all of that experience, we just want to uncreate and destroy all of it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyond. Letting it go, no longer needed. And downloading for you what it feels like to be able to look towards the future without any attachments or even influences from the past, right? Just downloading for you what it feels like to have this freedom to flow with the energies. Let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions you ever made that compelled you and made you cut your ties with your spiritual connection, that closed down your abilities to sense and hear and feel the guidance that comes to you through spirit. Sun create and destroy all of that, right, wrong, good, bad, pot and puck, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Yeah, and just feeling this flow of energy, allowing it to expand out further and further. And so maybe it just feels like just like a, a softening. So maybe you can feel it just in the relaxation that's coming into your cells. Maybe you can feel it as a tingling. Maybe you can feel it as a warmth or even as this colder, crisper sensation of the air around you. Maybe some of you start to feel it more in your hands. They just start buzzing. I know for me, I usually feel like I have a lava lamp in my hands, like this just blobs of this energy just moving and flowing. So allowing your body to really start feeling and sensing energy. And the more you release from the past, the more you free yourself up to bring in this light. So let's let's release any vows, oaths, or decisions that prevent you and forbid you from truly being that magnet to light, from really absorbing the light, from knowing that it is safe for you to absorb this light, to move through your day to day, to be a beacon for light, even when you're not actively doing it in the way that we are right now. Yeah, hold on, there's strong energy coming through here. Yeah, so anything that prevents you and forbids you to return back to that true nature while you're in your body to be that expansive energy that is able to connect to all the knowing that there is in the universe. <laughs> okay, so any of those programs and patterns that um, pulled you away from that truth, from knowing that you are energy and that you're always vibrating with the energy, whether you know it or not. So we're just asking now for a healing to come in so that um, we can be more aware as we flow with the energy. And with that awareness comes your true nature and your ability to work with the energy, to be that creator, to mold the energy into these future creations, but doing it right here, right now.
because everything happens from the now. So the more we release all the old experiences that are not in the now, they're not happening right here, right now. We want to just release all of it, just letting it go. Just see it just dissolving in the light, right? It's just, it's like as these older um, energies try to come up to the surface, and you're carrying so much light now that they, they just kind of transmute and dissolve back into light before they ever even trigger you. It's like they can no longer trigger you because you're holding so much light. Okay, so that's the way the healing wants to come in today. Those are the messages I'm receiving. Just work with the light. Yeah, so when your thoughts want to go back to an older experience, you just declare to the universe, okay, I see that experience. I know I lived that experience, but I no longer wish to carry it forward with me. I now choose to uncreate and destroy it all, to just let it go. It's done its job. It's no longer needed. So you could even send it love, which of course is light, right? <laughs> so maybe even maybe that helps to think of it that way. Maybe that's why this message is coming through, that as experience or past things come up, that you just look at it and love it. Like you love your cats and dogs and kids and parents and siblings, right? Those things that you truly love in your life. Send that energy of love to those past experiences. And you'll find that the more you do that and the more you hold this light, the more you consciously just call in light. Like every day, just call in the light. Do it in the shower, do it before you go to bed, do it while you drive in your car. <laughs> Do it before you have to make a phone call that might be difficult. Do it before anything, any experience that you're moving into that may be difficult. Just send the light. You can send the light ahead to the future. Something you need to do tomorrow, let's just flood it with light. Flood it with light, so much light, so that when you arrive at that time and space, it's already holding so much light. So, Originally, this healing was to be the clear past experience, but it feels like it's more and more, and I'm getting this a lot lady, lately, <laughs> teaching you how to work with light, opening you up to know that you are light, right? So let's do that right now. Just open you up to know your true nature as light and anything that forbids and prevents that we now uncreate and destroy it all, right, wrong, good, bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Just lifting it all, sending it out there in this bubble of light to just be just like dissolved, right? Just transmuted into the light. It's becoming the light. And that's really what's happening right on the planet. So much of this heavier energy we could call it dark but just heavier energy is coming up to the it's like it's bubbling up to the surface so that the light can so that we shine the light on it we see it and the more we see it and shine the light on it the more it unravels it can it can no longer exist wow okay <laughs> all right let's just be the light just be the light and just remind yourself, I am light. That's what I am. And not only that, it's what everybody is. It's just a matter of how much light are you allowing yourself to hold. No longer allow yourself to define yourself by those past experiences. They're over. It's done. We're shifting into a whole new dynamic where you might find that you can't even remember some things. It's, it's almost like they don't exist already. It's because you're moving out of that older, that older dimension and you're moving into a new one, right? So it goes back to moving out of the 3D and into the 5D. It's all about being the light, holding the light, reclaiming all of those abilities of yours. So anything that, that any beliefs that you hold within your system that say it's not safe 
to regain your abilities, to be able to have all the magic that comes with being your true nature, the light that you are. Let's just pull them, send them to the light. Yeah, send, just releasing any of those inner scenarios and beliefs. And now just downloading with the new belief of that it is not only safe for me to be the light that I am and to work with the light that I am, but it's also time. It's time for you to be your truth. It's time for you to hold more and more light. And the more light you hold, the more you send that healing out to the world just by being the light. That's all we need to do is just be the light, work with the light, share that light. So this is the messages that wanna come through. I think I started off with a whole different intention, but really as you are this light, and as you just start, even, even if you don't even feel it or believe that it's happening, the more that you do it, the more you'll feel it. It's like working a muscle, right? It gets stronger as you work it. So your ability to sense and know and feel and navigate energy will just grow and grow and grow. This is the message grow and grow and grow as you become it, as you utilize it, as you visit it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So just feel that light, feel that energy, feel your truth, and now feel yourself just flowing. It's like flowing with the universe because everything is made from light, right? It all exists. It's all energy is all light there are maybe some denser darker energies wanting to come in right but the more we hold and know our truth as light the easier it is to just eradicate that just transmute it back to back to love and light <laughs> yeah so simple right okay so i'm being reminded too of a message i get all the time Okay, there's no right way. Find your own way and keep it simple. So possibly while I'm doing whatever I'm doing here, you may have or feel or sense a way that feels better for you to do it. There's no right way. The intention is to just allow your true nature, the light that you are, to be that. And then see, and as you do that, right? So we're, so we're as you hold more light, you're opening up that channel and that ability to sense the light that's around you, right? Your guides, your angels. So as you're doing that, it's easier to follow that guidance and allow that support to where you're flowing with the energy and the right things show up at the right time. That's how it works. So just keep talking to your guides, ask them, okay, what can we do here to have this flow in this direction? or? What needs to happen for this next step that I am taking in my career to actualize and to take me into the, the goal that I'm looking for, right? Like ask questions, find your own way to ask questions. But when we're in the question, we open to this energy and this flow so that things we could never even conceive with this mind <laughs> can come in, the magic can come in the miracles can come in the synchronicities show up more and more and you're probably already experiencing that right do not underestimate any synchronicity it's all you working with the energies sensing the energies allowing these openings and this flow and connection with your own spiritual team that is lining these things up sending you the numbers right the synchronicities, the, telep the telepathy, right? So anything that, that has been preventing you from really stepping into this ability of telepathy, let's release it all, send it to the light, blast it with all this light, right? Uncreate and destroy all of it, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyond, and just download this feeling of being that being the light, he hearing, sensing, knowing, receiving information from the light. It's all that's happening right now. 
I'm just, the words just come because that's the way the energy is flowing. And so when we can live our life that way, where we don't really know what that next two, three, four, five steps are exactly going, but you just know that you have this guidance, this cushion, this love all around you that is like gently moving you in, into the right direction. That's what happens when you work with your team, right? So let's, let's just open that right now. Let's just ask for a healing. Yeah, feel that energy. Download to you a healing that allows you to open, receive, Acknowledge your support and spirit. Really building your team right here, right now. Letting them know, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's bring more love and light to the world. And that could be in any way. It could be in just your the normal things you do in every day. When you do those things, holding light, it doesn't matter how doesn't matter how exactly you do it or what exactly you're doing. As long as you're holding more light, you are contributing to the whole entire world as it makes its transition into this higher dimension where we really do know our true nature and it's just normal, natural. It's just the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. I hope that this helped you stimulated something within you. I, I, I really truly hope you're able to feel the light as it came in, that maybe you find yourself right now feeling a little lighter or you notice colors are more vibrant or everything seems brighter or you feel taller. These are some ways that you can sense your energy also when it expands. You might even be spinning, right? So if it's uncomfortable, you just ask, Spirit, can we slow this down in a way that is more comfortable for my body because it's happening too fast. Sometimes that happens too. Like right now, I really feel this energy flowing, but it's pleasant. It could almost go to an unpleasant feeling. So that's why, or maybe it's happening so that I can let you know that all you need to do, we'll do it right now. If any of you are experiencing that, we just ask, spirit to adjust the flow of the energy in a way that my physical body can flow with it in an easier manner, in a more peaceful manner, right? Sometimes when it gets too intense, you may start to think it's something that, it, so, you, so this is the discernment, right? It may be kind of fast and spinny, but you, you wanna sense within you and say, okay, is this, is this for my highest good? Is this right now just the way so much energy coming in that my body is almost not able to absorb it all fast enough? <laughs> just ask it to slow down. Okay, let's slow that flow. Slow it, make it more fluid and easier for you to feel it. Yeah, you call the shots. So be creative. Maybe that's why that came in like that. Be creative with what you're feeling. Acknowledge when the energy flow feels really good and ask for more of that. Okay, Spirit, this is great. I'll take more of that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, another last minute message here is anything that's going on that you're enjoying in your life, do that. Say, okay, Spirit, I'll take more of that. Universe, I'll take more of that. Universe, what can I do to have more of this energy be present in my day? More and more and more. You call the shots. You work with energy. Have fun doing it. Be creative, that's why you're here, to be creative. Now we're gonna be creating with light, so much light. Having opened up enough, even pretty much it's getting bigger and bigger in the masses. People starting to realize or starting to connect to more of the light in whatever way they do that. So just becoming a little more consciously aware of ourselves doing that. Noticing other people when they've, 
they're so connected because you can see it and asking for more of that. <laughs> and so let's just end this with sending out a huge blast of love and light to the whole entire world, out into the whole entire universe. Just this blast of love and light, soaking in and absorbing this new way of being and going out and be really creative with working with it. So I'll see you on another video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share. Um, I'd love to receive comments down below. And of course, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.